Seized in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, the anti-sealing ship Farley Mowat was towed to Cape Breton's largest port. Its senior officers handcuffed and in court, accused of interfering with the seal hunt. We're sick and tired of sitting, waving at these people as they come, do what they want, break the laws, leave our waters. Uh, from now on, if they want to play that game, we'll play ours. The fisheries minister said the Moat was boarded by the Mounties' elite marine team after the ship ignored orders to go to port. Crew members were stunned and angry. Our police uh, stole, stole the boat. They put a... Uh, a couple of people on the floor held guns to their faces. Some curious onlookers at the Sydney Harbour condemned the government's actions. It makes me sick. And a lot of other people think so too. It's terrible. And the man handling them out there like that and treating them like criminals, it's disgusting. Others say the protesters got what they deserved. Canada has the rights to do what, what they want in their own waters. But crew members say the Dutch registered ship was in international waters. Canada had no right to board it. It's pretty obvious that we're contending that we shouldn't have been arrested, we shouldn't have been taken at gunpoint off the ship. But with tensions mounting between sealers and protesters, the government said it had no choice but to act. If somebody had gotten shot, if somebody had gotten killed, who'd be the blame? I would. Why didn't you act? So we acted. Though the move has sidelined the activists, the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society views it as a public relations coup, as the European Union contemplates a ban on the importation of all seal products. The Moet's captain and first officer have been granted bail and ordered to return to court May 1st. The charges they face could result in fines of up to $100,000 or up to one year in jail. Danelle Balfour, CTV News, Halifax.